Maximum minimum completing the squares method. Question 13. A rectangular field bounded by one side by a lake is to be fenced on three sides by 800 meter of fence. What dimensions will produce a maximum area? So let's think, let's first sketch it, right? Let's see, this is a lake and that's the rectangular field which we have here and we have fencing on three sides. So let's first define our variables. Let's say the width of the rectangular field is W and the length is L, correct? So this is also W since it is a rectangular field. Now what is given to us? Rectangular field bounded by one side by a lake, so we are not bounding that side, is to be fenced on three sides. These are the three sides by 800 meter fence. That means 800 is equal to W plus L plus W or 2W plus L, right? So this equation relates to variables which we just defined. That is, let the width be W and L be the length of the rectangular field. You have to write that statement, okay? Now, from here, we can write length in terms of width, right? So we say length is equals to 200 minus, sorry, length is 800 minus 2W, okay? So 800 minus 2W is your length. Now, what dimensions will produce maximum area? So in the equation, you'll observe there are two different conditions given. One help us to relate one variable into the other, and the other helps us to find an equation to get the result. So what dimensions will produce a maximum area? So we need to write formula for area. Rectangular area is length into width. So let's write it down. So area is length times width. Now this equation helps us to write area in one variable. So we'll write length as 800 minus 2w. So we have 800 minus 2w times w. So that becomes our area in one variable, right? So let's expand this. Then we get 800w minus 2w square. Now, whenever you're writing a quadratic equation, remember, that leading coefficient should come first. Leading coefficient means coefficient of highest power. Here the highest power is 2, right? And therefore, we'll write this as minus 2w square plus 800w. So we have our equation here. Now, in this set of videos, we are trying to understand how to find maximum and minimum by the method called completing the squares. And we are exploring that and trying to teach you that. But let me tell you at this point that there are a couple of methods by which we can find maximum once we have a quadratic equation like this. So try to do it in at least two ways or possible three or four ways, correct? So that will give you an added uh, exercise or practice, correct? So let me show you completing the squares method from here. So we'll do it on the right side a equals to minus 2w square plus 800w. That is our equation. First step is always factor out the leading coefficient between the first two terms only. Here we have only two terms, so between these terms. So we get minus 2, that's factored out. Factoring means you have to divide both by minus 2. So when you divide this by minus 2, you're left with w square with leading coefficient 1 now. That was the idea. Minus plus divided by minus is minus. 800 divided by 2 is 400. 400 W, right? Don't factor W out. Some students do that mistake and then they like think what happened. Now, second step is do half of this, which is 200. Square is 200 square. Add and subtract that term. So we'll do this. So minus 2 w square minus 400 w half of 400 is 200 so we'll add 200 square and we'll also subtract 200 square it is like adding zero right 200 square minus 200 square is zero so that does not affect our equation but it makes one major change and that is these three terms form a perfect square 
with minus in between. Do you understand? This is what I'm trying to say. So this is equal to minus 2 times W minus 200 whole square. So that three terms, this trinomial becomes a perfect square. And now we can write minus 200 square, which is minus 2 square is 4 and 2 zeros become 4 zeros, right? Square. To write the equation vertex form, let's open this bracket. You will appreciate square brackets and a different bracket here. So that is the use of using square brackets. Let's open the bracket and we get minus 2 w minus 200 whole square minus and minus becomes plus 2 times 4 is 8 so 8 80,000 so that is the vertex form of quadratic equation which gives us maximum in this case maximum since here we have a minus right so minus means that the parabola will open downwards so since it opens downwards we have a vertex here which will give us the maximum and the coordinates for vertex is 280,000 so so we have a maximum here so maximum is at width equals to 200 right if width is 200 what should be the length so length should be 800 minus 2w so we have length equals to 800 minus 2w right so which is 800 minus 2 times 200 so which is 800 minus 400 and that gives us width of 400 is that okay 400 and now we are in a good position to write down the answer so we say our answer is width equals to 200 don't forget to write units meters and length is equals to 400 meters right so 200 plus 200 is 400 400 plus 400 is 800 800 meters of fencing correct so that is how you get your answer using completing the squares method now as i said i will teach you another method and that is i'll show you in this small little box here next method right it is so simple and so useful and that is why i want to teach you so we could actually factor this equation, write it in factored form, correct? So we get area equals to what is common here, minus 2w, correct? So minus 2w, if you factor out, you get w here, 800 divided by minus 2 will give you 400 with minus sign, so minus 400, correct? w has already been factored out, that is what you get. Now, so that means this is a parabola which has two x-intercepts, right? So I'll use this diagram here to show you those two x-intercepts here. So that means this parabola will have two x-intercepts. Let me just extend like this. Do you see that? So that becomes my x-axis and that becomes my y-axis. Do you see what I did? And the two x-intercepts are here. One is at 0, 2w. This factor gives you at 0. And this factor gives you x intercept at 400. Do you see that? 0 and 400. So, where should be the vertex? Axis of symmetry. And axis of symmetry will be right in the center. So, width should be equal to 0 plus 400 divided by 2. And which is 200. Do you see that? So, we get our answer 200. Do you see that? Or here 200. By factoring this method, because we only have two factors, is also called partial factoring. And therefore, partial factoring is the most effective tool in solving such questions, right? But if the question is use completing the squares, you have to use and show your skills to get the answer. Okay, thank you and all the best.